Hello friends, in this video we will try to solve a question which says two particles A and B are projected simultaneously from two towers of height 10 meter and 20 meter respectively. Particle A is projected with an initial speed of 10 root 2 meter per second at an angle of 45 degree with horizontal while particle B is projected horizontally with speed 10 meter per second. If they collide in air, what is the distance D between the towers? Okay, to solve this question, let's first of all uh, let's say this particle and this particle as it is given they are going to collide with each other so we can easily solve this question using the relative velocity concept so let's see how we are going to solve this question so first of all let's say the initial velocity of the particle a is going to be u a is equal to I am just converting this velocity into its component form which is going to be 10 root 2 cos theta i plus 10 root 2 sin theta j right so i just converted this into two component one is cos theta component and the other one is sin theta component right so here the cos theta theta value is 45 degree here so i will put the value there so 10 root 2 into 1 by root 2 i plus 10 root 2 sin 45 is 1 by root 2 j so root 2 will be cancelled so u a velocity is 10 i plus 10 j it's just a horizontal velocity and if we took this velocity as positive direction so then the velocity of b will be in negative direction right so now we will write the relative velocity of a will with respect to b so this will become u a minus u b right so if i put the value of u a here which is 10 i plus 10 j minus of minus 10 i so this will become 20 i plus 10 j so in case of relative velocity now what we have to assume we have to assume that b particle the b particle will be at rest so it will become at rest and the tower height is let's say it and this is a so now b is looking at a and a is appeared to be as it is coming with 20 i and 10 j velocity so their resultant is somewhere here so that means the resultant velocity is in the direction of b then it is going to hit it right so this is 10 meter this is the hole is 20 meter and so that means this is going to be 10 meter and the remaining well is again 10 meter let's say this angle is alpha so using trigonometry uh, in a b c triangle so in triangle a b c i can say tan alpha is equal to perpendicular upon base which is d so this distance was d right again from this velocity components we can also find the alpha value so from here the tan alpha value is 10 by 20 right so comparing this 10 alpha and 10 alpha we will get 10 by d is equal to 10 by 20 so that means d is 20 meter so this is the solution of this problem